what's up guys today is my first vlog I just got a lot of stuff coming up um, that I could really wanted to talk about it's about to be easy I got to run a couple errands today it's a Saturday afternoon I'm coming to you from my 97 Civic Coupe my winter beater this baby does have VTEC okay, here we go first gear pull VTEC Damn, this car's slow. Um, it's alright. It's no Subi, but uh, I guess around the winter I can keep my Subaru just like in my garage. It's really nice. Keeping it clean and everything. Um, so, a couple things I was getting a lot of questions about was uh, two cars in most of my videos. One is a uh, 16 STI and one is a 2012 WRX uh, sedan. So the uh, 2012 is mine. Um, I got it like about a year and a half ago. Um, and then the 16 SDI is actually my dad's. But um, everything that we do to those cars, we do it you know, together. Uh, it's kind of like a fun project for us. We're always working on each other's cars. Um, that's actually my second Subaru. Um, so he was working on both of mine with me, and then uh, this past summer he just decided, you know, I'm going to need one too. Um, he thought they were a lot of fun, and all the performance of them, and all the potential. So it's kind of fun now, we can work on them together, you know, cruise to shows and events together. Subi! The uh, 2016 um, is stage 2 right now. We did uh, downpipe Cobb Access Sport stage 2 off the shelf map too. Um, and a lot of more things coming for that car. Uh, Hopefully I can show you in the next couple weeks. I'll be going to EFI Logic, so we're going to get a pro tune on it. Uh, we just threw on, if you saw my last video, an AM intake. Um, and we're also going to do fuel pump, 1,000cc injectors, Cobb stumble kit um, for the fuel lines. And I think that's about it. And then we'll get it pro tuned. Um, we noticed stage 2 off the shelf. Um, it was running at 97% uh, duty cycle, which is pretty scary for the stock injectors. I mean, some people run them over 100, but that's that wouldn't be for me. I think it's a little nerve-wracking for me. And I try to keep everything safe and just like good drivability. You know, I don't want I don't want the car breaking or exploding. So, run some bigger injectors, um, a couple other mods to the fuel system, get a pro tune, and we'll see what we get. Um, we'd like somewhere over 300 to the wheel. Um, and EFI Logic uses a. Um, a Mustang dyno, which is like the heartbreaker dyno, so it's going to be a little lower than other dynos, like a dyno jet or something like that. But around 300 would be good. Um, so for my car, the 2012 WRX, that you've, I've seen a couple videos, I want to do some more on it just because there's been so much done to that car. Um, I'd like to go over some of the things, a couple of them are pretty unique too. So I'd like to sort of cover that on some future videos, but I'll have a lot of mods coming up for that, uh, especially this summer and spring when it's a little warmer and easier to work on it. Um, really the goal is to keep that car like 100% built and ready to go, uh, and down the line I'll end up building the block as well. But I want to get it to a port part where it has every single supporting mod, and all I would need to do is sort of build the block. A lot to come. Um, a lot of do-it-yourself type videos where I go into really good detail about how you can do it. So if any of you out there want to do the same mod, I'll show you exactly how to do it. Um, and maybe I'll do a little review like I've been doing too in the video, sort of showing up like how you do it, why I would do it, um, some of the benefits and things like that of doing them. Um, Alright guys, well a lot more to come this year, so stay tuned. 